Most kids, you know, that do have problems throwing the ball and they do get sore and you know, they'll go a lot, it's just because, you know, how they throw the ball and there's a lot of different ways that you can, you can hurt yourself and you can prevent that. For throwing a fastball, this would be a four seamer, either that grip or that grip, spinning the same way, four seams going like this. Um, what your goal is to do is to give it the best backspin you can. A lot of times younger kids will do, they'll, you know, they'll come across, they'll come off it like that and that creates strain in the elbow. Rather than straight down through it, you want to have a good, good arm motion right straight down and create that backspin. If you're throwing a breaking ball, you want to create top spin. So you want it to spin like that so it goes 12-6 is what they say. Now a lot of the younger guys will want to see this movement rather than this. So they're, they're around it and they're, they're twisting their wrists and they're, they're coming across this way, which also the same thing right down here in the elbow. The follow through for fastball and curveball is all in the same arm slot. So I'm going to be here on a curveball, here on a fastball. I'm finishing the same way, so my body's kind of used to that. You know, it's not the world to, to win in high school. You want to focus on developing players and getting them to the next level. It's actually, you know, rewarding to see that. Some kids came in and they can't even throw the ball where they want it. Six months later, they're, they're pretty impressive.